Hey folks, I'm back with a new friend battle. My opponent today is XRKHX Takeru, um, a guy who I met on the Cerebi forums. He's also on, on the Smogon forums as Elite Pokemon Legend. Um, however, I like to call him Michael Bay because this guy loves explosions. You should check out his channel. In all the videos that I've seen on his channel, he, uh, he uses lots and lots of explosions. Uh, hopefully in the annotations I'll have counted up exactly how many times he has his Pokemon explode in the videos that he's posted so far. Um, anyway, um, so I've seen his team in action. He's seen, um, he hasn't seen mine in action, but I've uh, told him OU doubles, and I've, uh, I've told him that um, it's okay for him to use uh, uh, Garchomp. Um, basically, he made a lot of concessions to me. Um, so I decided I'd uh, reciprocate. Um, this is the second variant on my lead. Uh, on my lead, uh, my other lead team is um, Dusk Noir and Zapdos, as you saw in my previous battle. Um, and basically, I was hoping um, that his Bronzog wouldn't explode and would instead use Trick Room, saving me the trouble. Um, but no such luck. Um, but I was counting on that too, and I chose my leads to both be very bulky. Um, well, uh, I mean, and pull and resist it. Um, so that they could take the hit pretty well and uh, survive with a lot of help. So um, I've skill swapped um, with Empoleon um, so that now Empoleon is in, uh, has Levitate. Um, this guy has a lot of uh, fo folks who can use Earthquake and so now Sambo's in the air and doesn't have to worry about uh, getting hit by any Earthquakes. So Armaldo uses Protect, um, as Tyranitar uses Crunch, um, Crunch uh, was targeted, was supposed to be targeted at my Uxie, um, Michael Bay told me later. Um, yes, I'm going to keep calling him Michael Bay because he just loves, loves these explosions. Um, so his is a Standstorm team and it's really going to help him out a lot in this match since all of his guys, I think, are, or almost all of his guys at least, are part rock. And so that means, um, what, 50% higher special defense and a lot of my guys are special sweepers. Um, so anyway, Uxie goes down, and I send out uh, Yorick, my uh, Dusk Noir, to set up the Trick Room. Um, I'm not really anticipating that Armaldo is too much of a threat. Um, in my mind, I was like, oh, it's NU, it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, it is slow, so I know that the Trick Room is actually going to help him quite a bit, as, long, as well as helping me. So I'm spamming uh, Hydro Pump. Um, I decide to hit Armaldo since he used Protect last turn. I don't know when I'm going to be able to use Protect against him uh, later, but he pulls back Armaldo, predicting the attack, uh, and sends out his Metagross instead. Um, so Regirock uses Brick Break to finish off Empoleon, which is a big deal and a big shame because um, Empoleon is my only water type um, and runs grass moves as well, and so is was going to be the primary counter um, for his entire team, basically. Um, so that's not so great for me, um, but I'm still leading at this point, um, and I'm doing pretty well. Um, so I send out Zapdos and decide I'm going to set. Up, I'm going to take care of the second part of my um, trick room strategy. Um, so I'm going to trick uh, a, a power bracer onto Pazuzu, my Zapdos, um, so that uh, Pazuzu becomes just as slow as everybody else. Uh, Metagross uses protect. I'm like, oh god. Uh, He's not going to try to use Explosion, is he? Um, and, uh, but I do get off my Tricking Strategy, um, and uh, Regirock uses Stone Edge, but I'm lucky and I get some hacks, and uh, Stone Edge misses. Um, Pazuzu uses Heat Wave, uh, so it's really a shame that uh, his uh, Metagross protected me. That was the whole reason I sent out um, Pazuzu. But I do get the burn on uh, Regirock, so that means that uh, any physical attacks that Regirock does, including Explosion, are going to be at half power. So that's really nice. But I figure with Yorick out, um, there's not much chance of him exploding. Um, by the way, you got a um, Trick in Sandstorm sure makes a, for a really, really cool background effect, um, in my opinion. Anyway, he, sends, he pulls back Metagross. He doesn't want to take the super effective Heat Wave and sends out Garchomp instead. Um, Yorick does Shadow Sneak. Um, it would have been uh, against uh, Metagross, it wouldn't have done too much, but it would have done a little bit and it would have been uh, neutral. Anyway, so now uh, both of his guys resist Heat Wave, um, which is a shame. Oh, and Garchomp avoids it anyway. A Retrog tries for another Stone Edge, but it misses. Um, 
So that's uh, more uh, more hacks for me. Um, I consider who to send out. Uh, I, I pull back uh, York because he's no longer needed. Um, and I use Hidden Power Grass against Regirock. That was a mistake. Um, I've done damage calculations in other battles. Um, it turns out that um, Thunderbolt would have done more damage because of uh, the same type attack bonus. Um, so bad move on my part. Um, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, Pazuzu, Pazuzu uses Hidden Power Grass. Uh, does a, quite a bit of damage, but not enough to deliver anything close to the KO. Uh, Thunderbolt wouldn't have either. He, I just might have gotten, you know, actually I couldn't have gotten anything because he was already burned. So um, Explosion doesn't do that much, doesn't do anything to um, Metagross uh, since it's so bulky. Um, and Pazuzu take, uh, you know, weathers the hit pretty well, um, and I can consider roosting up the damage on another turn. He sends Armaldo back out, um, and what do I do here? Let's see. Uh, Uchikoma my, uh, is the name for my um, Metagross. Uh, that's a reference to Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Society. Um, is that right? Yeah. No, not Standalone Society. Solid State Society. Um, basically, the Tachikoma think tanks get replaced by the really stupid Uchikoma um, think tanks. Um, and just everyone's disappointed with them, but I love that Metagross, and you know the Uchikomas are are kind of cute, especially in the little shorts that they include in the um, DVDs, and I think they might have aired on Japanese TV. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, Garchomp uses Earthquake, which is super effective against Uchikoma, but Uchikoma is a freaking tank, um, got a lot of defense, and so it survives the hit. Um, but it's uh, but the Trick Room goes down, which is why I sent York back out. But uh, this sucks because um, uh, Uchikoma is not going to have enough time to use another uh, attack, bef uh, another strong attack, so he's just got to get off a bullet punch um, since the Trick Room's not going to go back up in time. Um, Yorick, I do decide to use Trick Room. Um, my, I would say my main mistake in this match was using Trick Room at all. Uh, his guys were pretty slow. A lot of times they were slower than my guys. I didn't really get much advantage from using Trick Room. Um, I really should have just gone full out on the offensive, um, and I probably would have done a lot better. It also would have behooved me to um, uh, get uh, Metagross hovering in the air with um, uh, Skill Swap. Then again, Empoleon could have used it too, um, so it's kind of a toss-up. Anyway, Rock Slide finishes off Yorick before I can even set up another Trick Room, so um, this is kind of where the match turns around for me. Um, even though I've taken out a fair number of his guys, hopefully one of these screens will show how many uh, of his guys remain. Um, I'm down to, what, three? Um, let's see. Oh, well, I've got to send out more Pokemon. Um, so I send out Pazuzu as well. Um, just tr uh, trying to get in some attacks. So yeah, it's three and three. We're tied up. Uh, but his Garchomp is, next to, is down to next to nothing. Um, and I'm going to take it out with an extreme speed. Pazuzu... Um, now I'm regretting it being slow, uh, making it slow with that power bracer. Um, but anyway, Garchomp is down, so that's nice. Um, you know, Garchomp slowly goes down. Uh, so I didn't, really didn't mind, uh, you know, Garchomp was actually one of his least effective Pokemon in this match. Um, so I really didn't mind him using it. Uh, Rock Slide does a massive amount of damage to both of my guys and takes out my Zapdos. Now I'm pretty sure I did this damage calculations and it needed that crit to take out Zapdos because that's a physically defensive Zapdos running a bold nature um, and so it should have survived the Rock Slide especially considering that the damage was split over two different Pokemon. Uh, so he was lucky there with the crit. Um, but anyway, um, I figure I can still win this. Um, you know, uh, his guy, both of his guys are pretty slow um, I don't even need to set up the Trick Room. Earthquake should uh, hit first, um, but Armaldo uses Protect anyway, um, so more of the shame. And actually, his Metagross was faster uh, and manages to explode and takes out both of my guys. Uh, had he not exploded, he probably couldn't have done anything else to my Pokemon, really, uh, and I, this match would have probably turned around the other way. So at the end of, at the, end of the day, he does beat me. Um, very good match, Michael Bay. Uh, very, very impressed. Um, and everyone else, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. I'm especially looking for people to challenge my uh, UU singles team. 
um, because I really want to see it in 6-on-6 six six anyway. Uh, so that was that. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge again. Uh, so long.